The first time I heard about the concept, I thought it was brilliant. We're putting together so many different genres of television and we are putting our own spin on it. That is something special, baby. I just think it's gonna be so shocking and confusing and exciting for our fans to dissect what we're doing and why and for them to try and get steps ahead of us. And that's just very cool and it's very satisfying. This is for us, so let me handle it. What is outside of Westview? I got a call from Kevin to come see him in his office. And I went, oh, I'm getting canned. And I went in and much to my surprise, they pitched this bonkers idea for a show. And I was immediately in, of course. And the show has only grown more bonkers. <laughs> You're the new clown? Welcome home, sir. It's so nice to see you finally coming out of your shelf. It's been a crazy ride. Good, that was a good one. John Favreau rung me up and we had made a movie together called Wimbledon. And he rung me up and he said, making this movie with Robert Downey and he's Iron Man and I need a sort of a really boring personality-less voice for the computer that runs this world. And I... And I <laughs> And I immediately thought of you, Paul. Rendering periodic tables, sir. How do you say no when you're asked so nicely? <laughs> anyway, and it was a great gig. You know, they'd shot everything, and whatever still needed clarification, you could always just have Jarvis say, the bodies are coming. Sir, it appears that his suit can fly. Duly noted. Take me to maximum altitude. And then, I don't know how the next bit happened. I, I guess Joss Whedon had seen me in, in some movie and figured out a way for me to actually work for a living, if you can call it work. So then that happened. That was Age of Ultron. Starting with Ultron, Marvel really was so excited to bring Wanda into the MCU and was, was only really like teeing me up for possibilities that we didn't know if we would actually fulfill those possibilities or not. I looked in your head and I saw annihilation. Look again. So we would kind of place Easter eggs in certain places, whether it's just like a glance too long with vision or just we were trying to play around with that in Age of Ultron. The handoff to different directors have been have been completely different experiences for this character specifically. I think the Russo brothers were, you know, very honest about, you know, like I really want this to be something that like that you, you know, shepherd and that you take full ownership of. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I kind of, you know, had to choreograph with this choreographer, Jenny White, who we, we brought on in Age of Ultron. Bringing that energy and yeah. back up. We just had to kind of figure out our own place at the same time while Wanda was trying to figure out her own place in the Avengers compound and finding solace and vision. Tell me what you feel. I just feel you. And I think Paul and I, we both really believed as much as it's fun to be part of the, the humor and the playfulness of the Avengers. We've always, I, my character specifically, has also always, in our relationship together, we've kind of just created like just an emotional foundation that doesn't play around with irony really, which is kind of odd in these movies when so much is ironic and um, funny and fun to watch, but it's also kind of lovely that it's told through their strange love story. We are out of time. I can't. Yes, you can. It shouldn't be you, but it is. I love you. For the first time, Marvel Studios is producing long-form epic series for Disney+. Plus. One of the series is called WandaVision. We have not seen Wanda Maximoff and Vision since the events of Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Where do we go from that? Wanda, welcome home. WandaVision fits inside of the larger MCU in that these are characters that we're familiar with and we love, but we're seeing them in a totally new environment and in a new light. We are an unusual couple, you know? Oh, I don't think that was ever in question. Let's roll and play, baby. 
back, please. WandaVision opens in a classic 1950s black and white sitcom. We are kind of recreating a whole era of television and trying to do it with this authenticity. For the first episode, it's the start of the sitcom land. <laughs> it's to an audience, and we filmed it in front of a live audience. It was nerve-wracking, but I think it, it was so rewarding and so funny. What a charming door knocker. And cut. Through the course of the series, we see several different iterations of the golden era of sitcoms and television. I'm fine. This begins in a lovely way. But this is the MCU, so of course all is not what it seems. I think something's wrong here, Wanda. It feels really cinematic and epic. WandaVision is going to be a mind-bending and a very unique story, unlike anything you've seen before. Wanda and Vision. Aren't we a five pair? Uh, guess who? Who oh, is that? My host behind me? It certainly is. Oh, lovely to make your acquaintance. This is so... Cameras are rolling. Welcome to the first live sitcom taping in Marvel Studios history. I haven't been in front of a live audience since 1884. Oh, is that right? Yeah. The first time I heard about the concept, I thought it was brilliant. It's such an homage to American sitcoms throughout the 20th century. The Marvel MCU is the largest episodic experiment ever. When you're on these big films and you get all those pieces moving, it feels really special. It's such a beautiful puzzle box. So exciting to finally be able to say this out loud. Spoiler alert! <laughs> it's gonna be so exciting for our fans to dissect the way it unravels. Are in uncharted waters. Marvel Studios Assembled, the making of WandaVision. Original special streaming tomorrow. And stream all WandaVision episodes only on Disney Plus. Vision residents. After Endgame, we find Vision and Wanda in the 1950s in this sort of sitcom town. I think it's gonna be a really fun surprise for the audience. The costuming on this is magnificent. The colors that we have to do for black and white, and how it's different, it's just wild that you're thinking of those things. Maya, the designer, is such a genius and such an artist. This has been an incredible project for me because it allows me to design costumes of many fashion eras. WandaVision is truly recreating the experience in those shows decade by decade. We're all just getting to really invest with wardrobe, hair, makeup, design, everything. It's been such an imaginative and fun project to work on. This is gonna be a gas! We are an unusual couple. It was really so fun getting to play all these different decades throughout WandaVision. We just don't know what to expect. And then, of course, everything kind of breaks down and becomes an MCU version of the real world. Am I dead? No. Why would you think that? Because you are. Can't believe how it just keeps unraveling and unfolding in ways that I am still shocked and thrilled by. Wanda, can you read? Every day it's something different. You know, it's high-tech Marvel with helicopters flying around. And the next day it's a perfect recreation of a 50s sitcom. You know, some days it's, it's both. I think something's wrong here. I think it's gonna be really satisfying for people when they realize what is at the heart of this show. This is our home. Then let's fight for it. Marvel Studios' first original series arrives on Disney+. Plus. Wanda and Vision, we are in uncharted waters. We just don't know what to expect. Westview is our home now. I want us to fit in. We shall. Wanda, have you gotten bigger? Life moves pretty fast out in the suburbs. You're the Avengers. Are you here to help us? Why would you think that? <laughs> Who 
Who are you? I don't know. I think something's wrong here. This is our home. Then let's fight for it. Marvel Studios WandaVision, an original series streaming Friday exclusively on Disney+.